Hey guys, it is time for the first YCS of 2023, YCS Sydney. I can't think of a better way to start off this channel than showing you how YCS is for me. And this one is extra special as well. I just finished my bathroom in economics, so I've decided to treat myself a bit, stay for two weeks in Australia and do some more touristy stuff. Hopefully you guys can find some enjoyment in all the stuff that I like to do on these trips and I can share with you all the incredible experiences that Yu-Gi-Oh has given to me. I'm here in LAX now, like one of the journey done. Probably the shortest part, I'm not sure, but what's up ahead is definitely the longest. LA to Fiji next, which should be the longest portion of the trip. I'm honestly not sure how long it is. I want to say close to 20 hours though. So I have some stuff prepared to keep me entertained during the trip. I have some movies downloaded, some ones I've watched and really enjoyed, and some new ones. Specifically, I got some Ghibli movies I watched. Spirit Away a couple years ago, I wanted to rewatch it, so I have that downloaded. And I've never watched Howl's Moving Castle, so I have that, and I would have loved to watch those movies. However, I seem to have lost my AirPods, so yeah, not that. However, I did bring some books with me. Uh, if you ever seen me at YCS, as you may see me in the corner just uh, reading a book. It's a good way if you feel a little overwhelmed or you just don't want to interact with people that much because you've been doing it all day or all weekend. Just take a little of a break and, you know, not just do nothing. So, still have something, but it'll be a long flight. And then I've also gotten the classic American food. And I'll stop here very briefly, and there's nothing more American than this. Ready for the flight. Vlad was supposed to meet me here at LAX with the same time flight, different. He doesn't stop in Fiji though. However, I don't know where he is. I'm assuming he just doesn't have internet in LAX, and I just see him in Sydney, but I guess I'll find out later. We have made it to Sydney. Not quite done the journey yet. Now I have to take the train over to where everyone else is. Should be a bit, but hopefully I'll get some people besides me in the, in the footage soon. All right, so I've made it to the house. We got Bowden here, Sam Bowden. Some other Australians, hello. Darren, another Australian, Glenn. Finally playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh, we're gonna catch some catch them all. Yeah, that game, gonna catch them all, yep. The only time this weekend. Yeah, so we have to work. Morning walk with Darren. Hey, you know, can't sleep the jet lag. Got some cool Australian animals here. We can't see, you got a parrot. Oh, there Beautiful goes. parrots. Let's see if I can find some of the cool birds. These guys are so loud, they sound like little dinosaurs in the morning. You're seeing this crazy ass web. We don't know where it's attached to, but there's a spider there somewhere. Let's jump for it. <laughs> I'm not taking that bit. <laughs> Darren, you uh, like snakes? Love them. So on this walk, how about we uh, you know, beware of snakes? What say these are? Uh, I think they're domesticated trolleys. Oh, the domesticated. Are they native here? Uh, I would say so. A cute little couple. Very pretty. These are rose breasted cockatoos. Now we end off the walk with a nice breakfast. My beautiful day. Yummy. Back from the walk, back from breakfast. I think four of us, Campo, Lincoln, Darren and I, are gonna go to Blue Mountain see Three Sisters. So I'll take you on that journey with me. See some cool rock formations. All right, we've made it to the falls. Behind me here, we're pretty. And uh, I think it's time to resolve some scale and effects on the waterfalls. Chain link 10 on a waterfall. Parts were fine on the waterfall until I decided to fall on the waterfall. And now uh, these cards are all damaged. Maybe that was a mistake. What is this? I have no idea. Probably. Oh, like you want to touch it, Darren? No. I'll give you this deck of destroyed cards. I'll do it for a solid. So when I fell, I also dropped my play mat in water, and now I'm putting it on my head so it dries out. I figure this way it also uh, protects me from the sun a bit. Okay, so back from the, uh, what was it called? Three Sisters, look out the Katoomba Falls. Um, had a lot of fun. I really enjoy hiking a lot and you know, walking in the morning, just even in the neighborhood. But yeah, that's what a, a day that we're not doing looks like when I try and traveling. I try to explore like the wilderness a lot. 
This trip will have a lot more of that because I'm here for two weeks. But hopefully when I do, if I do vlogs in the future, it'll be similar on a smaller scale. Not as many days of it like in this vlog. And I'm all cleaned up now. I got a hat. Should have got a hat earlier. I'm sure you guys can see my hair is thinning. And it is very hot and there's a lot of sun. So definitely needed some more protection than I had. But yeah, I'm going to go get food now. And then if nothing else, let you guys know what's going on tomorrow. Okay, so I am at a uh, Asian restaurant right now. I'm trying some seafood. I uh, actually pretty much have not had seafood for most of my life. I'm a pretty picky eater. And I'm trying to be more open-minded. I have had shrimp once. And that's pretty much it as far as shellfish goes. So I'll be trying a whole bunch today. I'll show you guys when I get it. And Darren is in a pretty much similar boat to me. Meat crab. Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah. Alright, I guess we're gonna give this a try. Which side do I crack it with? <laughs> How hard? Just fucking don't be shy. Pretty shy. Yeah, there you go. I cracked it. I crack it now. Yeah. So I feel like you might like prime it a bit more, but there's a trick. Right? Oh my god, I filmed a portrait like a moron. Okay, so we pretty much demolished all of our food. All right, shellfish is okay for me. I don't know. I did not like lobster that much. It's fine. Crab was good. I feel like for how much it costs, if I give them the choice between this or a steak, I'm picking steak though. Glad to have at least tried. But if everyone wants to go to a seafood place, I can at least find something to eat now. Darren, on the other hand, is at KFC now. We got some baby little duckies on today's walk. Get a picture of them. Look how small that is. So cute. Another day in Australia on another walk. This time with Nishad and Lincoln. We're gonna go to the beach today, but weather there isn't seem great, so we're going to the aquarium instead. And then maybe some more dueling. We'll see. Cockatoos enjoying some pizza. Okay, so we met up with everybody now. We got a bunch of crowd there, including Raf and Darren and Glenn and Campo. Now we are at the train station. You can see behind me. Head downtown to the harbor and see the aquarium and uh, take some good footage, hopefully, see the opera house and all that. I got Mary Mary tokens. Oh, Yay, baby seahorses. Got the Wabagong shark, it's like carpets. Nishad. Yeah, Nishad got on the train without us. Uh, he's an idiot. <laughs> How was the adventure? It was peaceful being away from these idiots. For yeah. some time. <laughs> okay, welcome to another day in Australia. Uh, Phil died late last night, so didn't have a chance to close out the day. Today we're on to the zoo. Supposed to go to the opera today, but as I'm sure many of you know, planning with big groups sucks. And I couldn't get people to agree on if they wanted to go or not. I couldn't get a final number to book. And then by the time we agreed that it would just be me, Raph, and Nishad, the opera was sold out. So can't do that. However, it looks like a sole one I can go on the Sunday after the YCS. But that means pretty much straight after the YCS is done, go and watch an opera or the, the play. Anyways, we'll see how the zoo is today. Did you guys know that in Australia, Burger King is not Burger King? <laughs> Must have been already trademarked. Instead, it is called Hungry Jacks.
Hey guys, guys, I found the craziest animals. <laughs> Look, wild Australians. Little babies. Darren has found an elephant egg, he says. <laughs> Sympathize with his elephants in his hair. Not long, my friend. I'll be there soon. <laughs> Turkey eating KFC. Oh my God. Yeah, this is actually kind of small, no, but that's. What do you mean? That's massive. I mean, yeah, it's not, I'm not going. I'm going to use a different toilet, but. Yeah, we're going to go for a piss. You know what the funny thing is, Darren? There's something funny about this. What? Why fuck you? There's something funny about this. It's crazy. You know what the funny thing is? You took a piss in there before. When we left. That's why I was probably in there. Oh, when you oh my god. <laughs> Sorry I didn't give you guys a conclusion to yesterday's section of the vlog. My phone died at the zoo. I really need to get a portable charger. Anyways, today is Friday, so pre register the event. We get to meet everyone. All the duels we haven't seen yet. We are at the venue right now. Darren, Bowden, Campo, and Lincoln. Other group is on the way here as well. And we'll see everyone flying in. Hopefully Asala soon. Still not in here yet. But uh, yeah, time for some actual Yu-Gi-Oh. Got some new faces. There's Raph. Hello. And then up there we got an Asad and Josh. Most of the uh, foreigners are here. Didn't buy this here, but I finally got this from my friend. It's probably the last piece I'll be buying for a while for my collection, but it's super safe. This is outside the venue right now. Probably won't be able to film inside, but it's not open for today. Right now it's just Reg. Now Asal has shown up. Late to the party, but he's here. No, the party's just getting started. Like, now that I am here. And apparently he leaves on Monday? Wow. It's almost like I planned staying there knowing that you destroy everything you own. You can see in the corridors here, the YCS leads out into the Olympic Stadium. I've been saying they should put medals here for these YCSs, you know, we're literally in the Olympic Stadium. But I guess we're playing one of these random rooms on the side, not in a, the actual stadium. Now we're at dinner after the registration, all the boys there. After this, we'll head back to the house and we'll do some playtesting and show you guys hopefully. Thank you. Show you guys what this is our head before the event how we approach any last minute ideas, uh, if we have any. Uh, we try to keep most of stable for the YCS. Last minute changes aren't the greatest. You'll see, so see you later. Jesse, we have to cook. So well, the main thing I think I want to test today is, or before the YCS, is Holly. Christian Urena won their move to YCS with it and it has validity to it. It's pretty good for Sprite. It's really good in scrappy situations in the mirror because when you get into weird grind games, obviously fusing for two and making your own kit's really good. And just having an extra fusion summon as well is helpful. So I want to see how impactful it is in contrast with Talents because those are cards that I'd kind of have to sacrifice one, one or the other. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing four cards, hands. And then this will be either Talents or Polly. I see which works in intent better from first and second and try to get a better feel for which one or other in my deck. Specifically in the mirror match, because that's, that's the hardest to theorize. So in a, in, in a situation, sorry, if someone's just triggering all their names on the turn zero, they probably don't it, have apples, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So like, if someone's just propping every name on the turn zero, do you just assume there's no way they're going to know? Especially if, like, if I've already been Hey guys, it's game day at YCS Sydney, day one at the Olympic Stadium. But Darren is laughing his ass off. But um, yeah, I will keep you guys updated on Twitter. So if you don't know where to see how I'm doing, you can check there. But otherwise, I will try coming out between rounds to do a little round updates. Hoping today goes good. All right, so we just finished round one at YCS Sydney. And this one is a funny story. So a couple days before the YCS, I accidentally added somebody random on Twitter. Just in my pocket or whatever. Uh, and the guy messaged me. I wanted to just talk about really the Rogue series I'm working on. And wants to show me his, uh, his deck, which he collects at the worst cards he could find intentionally, and throw them together for, uh, for a fun deck for trolls. Um, I told him that I accidentally added him, we talked for a bit, 
and then he said, wished me luck and he said, may hope he sees me a city. Well, I played him round one and he was playing that deck of all the worst cards in the game and had a good time. I uh, kept stealing his bad cards to wallow and despite his deck being 60 cards, we decked him out with his cheesy stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, he knew he was there just to troll and have fun. And I think he accomplished that goal. But yeah, so round one's win for me. Yeah, so I'm asked to sign Mystic Mind fairly often, but uh, this isn't just Mystic Mind. Like your cookies? Good cookies. Okay, so we finished the end of day one of YCS Sydney, finishing 7-1. Uh, last round was crazy. It was mostly standard for the most part. I lost to a sprite with a shifter mind control, my Moguska. Um, but last round, playing versus a Florandries player. Win the game three, I'm getting the start, and I'm thinking, hopefully he doesn't have a shifter and I can just win here. Meanwhile, I just can't play. So I set two pass. But thankfully, he cannot play either. He goes shifter me and, his, and then twins my back row. Tried to like, not hit a solid, which is good because I actually wanted the shifter gone. Um, and then sets three pass pretty much. But because of the shifter, when I draw into a playable uh, hand with uh, Keldo and Agito, I now can't combo. I have the choice of going for a Zeus line, put him on zero cards, but I'm also on zero, I lose to Rubina. Decide to hold that, he top decks Duality and a Prosperity six card flip Rubina. He gets the play, but because his back row one extenders, he only does the softest like field of M-Pen, uh, no statue, adds the, the trap. And it gets into a really weird grind game because now I can play with the with the card I drew, the, the Guido and Keldo I had last turn, I drew a Midorf turn, so I had Kelbeck and I get middle 10. Really good guiding where eventually a crime even though I had ends up turning off his entire play all the way at the end, and that gets me there. Uh, yeah, very, very weird game, but both of us made misplays. I like forgot to shuffle back his trap in the grave, it almost cost me. Um, I also played into an Anima Zone. He, he, it was a very messy game, but that's some of the best Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you're both nervous, you're both kind of flipping off the top of your deck. I only won the game in the end because I topped Pearl Orion for turn. I had two draws in a row for a playable card, hit Pearl Orion on that was game, but... Moral of the story, never punished. Never pu Okay. <laughs> I just... I, I've been, I've been punished one. plenty. <laughs> okay, but I also just... Go ahead. Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how good tomorrow goes. We are outside the venue for day two of the YCS. I just got Subway. Uh, didn't show the logo there, I missed the logo. But uh, yeah, we ate fresh. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can top today. Two rounds to go, got lots of on. Time to rep. Okay, so we just finished last round of Swiss for YCS Sydney, now 9-1. Played two more mirrors today, both went pretty smoothly. Um, had some fortunate luck, which left them to be pretty swift to us. But I still feel like I played them well. Anyways, top 32 is next. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So, just finished my top 16 match versus Lincoln, who has been in the vlog, uh, doing the walks and the bird stuff with me. Happy to see he made it that far, but you know, sad that we have to you knock know, one of each other out. I did end up winning the match, it was a mirror match. I also played around 10, and that one was didn't matter, both X1. Game one, kind of just got destroyed. I, I win the roll, but some mills don't go my way. He plays well and I'm locked out. Game two, I don't get, really get to do much and on kit pass, I have to get impermed. But his hand isn't very strong either. We trade orange for orange and because I ordered his orange, I just got rid of Medora, that kind of just put him down to zero. And then game three, he uh, went conservative with his mill effects. And because that didn't have a shuffling grave, I was hoping that his tier cards would be enough. But when my having just had a tier, I'm able to go kit, send Rhino, and then Rhino send one from hand, and that spiraled into a Collider Heart and a Macalos, which pretty much kept them off of getting a full board. That with a Kel back in my hand that I then used afterwards, after I well, Kalos to Sharon, he was using his hand. Kind of locked him out of any meaningful play, he ended on almost nothing, and then I just had four cards in hand and two cards on field to get going with. That's how going so far. Top eight is next, and I'm playing versus Raphael Nevin. So, obviously, teammate, very good player, friend. We'll see how that goes. He's won the top four. Nice 2-0 mirror match again. One match left. Jesse, what did you just do? 
Just won the YCS in Australia. All right, do you have Come any comments? Second place. How did you go? How did you feel? Uh, I was upset that I didn't start my YouTube channel after or around the time of Costa Rica, but I just couldn't because of school. The fact that now when I'm starting YouTube, this happens, that's sick. It's a great You're getting messages point. from your parents right now saying, so proud of you, my star. Beautiful stuff. Shout out to dad. I love my parents. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm uh, kind of kind of flustered. Yeah. flustered of adrenaline I'm running. I'm sure you guys know if you've been in any high pressure situ situations like that. I will let you give you more. What did you do to keep composed, real quick? Like, how did how did you know? Like, you're in the finals. This is like oh, I'm still fifth thing. How, how did you feel? Were you, were you still antsy, but yeah. like I've been there before. No. So I've had a better, but I'll try to get more composed and at some point have a better recap, you guys. But there's still more vlog to come as I go to Kansas Northland. But yeah, crazy weekend. Right, didn't so expect this Congratulations, Jesse. We're all very proud of you. All right. Four of us here now on the way to the Opera House. We're going to see a play. Uh, Medeus. Pretty excited. Had to go with Rath, Rashad, and Josh. Uh, and I'm sorry, I'm from the YCS, of course, but looking forward to uh, hopefully something artistic. Rush to get there in time. We got there. In the opera house. It is very pretty. If you guys are around. I hope I showed it properly. But uh, we're all the way at the back. Yeah, I'll let you guys know how it is. Finished on Medeus. What do you think of the show in a shot? Uh, I thought it was really good. It was a yeah, great, it was good. Great adaptation of the story. I didn't know the story uh, originally, but uh, I really enjoyed it. And the architecture and the, the building is also just beautiful. It's very cool to be inside of and look and walk around. I've got as much footage as I can. I hope you guys appreciate that. But super happy I went, even though I meant rushing out of the YCS. All our phones are at ten percent each. And we have a charging cord that fits. Yeah, I have a charger <laughs> and a, a portable charger too, but I don't have any cords. Uh, all my cords have USB C's and they only take regular USBs. Oops. Uh, yeah, this might be we'll the figure last that out. In the vlog. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out on the way to Cairns tomorrow. guys it is now the day after the YCS and we are on the way to the airport for Cairns just the shot Josh and I for now we will be going back to Sydney briefly so we'll see some of these guys again but a lot of the foreigners like Asala, Darren, Raf we will not be seeing again um, but I'm excited to go snorkeling we're starting off the day with Krispy Kreme it is next to our hotel and eh, we're on vacation let's give it a shot Here in a Karen City Center, a lot of loud birds, and interestingly as well, you can see at the top of the tree there are big black things flying around. Those are bats. There's one right there. Let's see if we can get a better video of one. Really cool. Hey guys, new day here in uh, Cairns. Didn't do much vlogging yesterday. We decided to just chill after having a long, you know, busy week. The YCS was very tightly packed and stuff to do. Now we are heading off to Marina, hopping to go on a boat and then off to the reef. We are ready to get in the water, or almost ready. Shop take, uh, Josh take a long time. So I'll dress up in blue.
Uh, everyone else didn't want to come here because they said it would be raining and shitty. Yeah, this looks so bad, guys. Beautiful water. Yeah, ready for a dive? Yes, so ready. For the blue monster? Ready to go? We're not diving, but stick the wrong solid plane. Beautiful water. On the boat, in the den, yeah, nice. We're about to play poker, I guess. We have no cards, but we have the chips. Oh, you know, okay, awesome. Um, everything is pork here on the menu, and uh, I can't eat pork, so this is what I'm sustaining on this trip for the day and a half. They don't call it Rice Krispies, they call it Rice Bubbles. So, uh, I will be enjoying Rice Bubbles. How's the sparkling, though? Great. Well, the weather is amazing. Everyone was scared to be really rainy. No jellyfish, no rain. It's beautiful. How can you see without these in the water? Very, very close to the <laughs> Yeah, having a good time. Is this a word, guys? What? I think this is, I think these are both words. I think together they make a super word. Who's happy? And you're drinking too much. Who's happy? You know, my letters are uh, fantastic. Oh, by the way, if you're, I think, if you're just what the poker said, yeah, we couldn't find the cards. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably all it is. Like this. Like that? Yeah. Put this on the back of this. Like that? Like that? Like that? How do you do anything with this? Do this. Do you want to cut something? We are teaching Deshaun how to use this pork. That makes no sense. No. That makes no sense. You're supposed to roll like this. I'll show the other way. Like that. Like that. I don't do this. I'm sorry. Josh has won this round of Scrabble. No, he has not. <laughs> Oh wait, yeah, he got last place <laughs> with his word <laughs> goon stew. <laughs> I am so good at this game. Really in Australia, the cards go up to 12. Oh, and yeah. yes, they still have face Yo, cards. Your check must be insane. The next day. Good morning, guys. It's like 6 a.m. here, out on the boat. We've got a couple more hours left here. And I think we'll go snorkeling one more time and then take a glass bottom boat tour as well. Hoping to see some other different fish, but either way, it's been super pretty. And I know this camera can really capture all the color and, and the beauty that we can actually see. It, it is so stunning, and I hope you at least get some of that. I hope I also haven't bored you guys too much with all my nature talk on, these, on this trip. I promise it'll be less for future ones, but it'll never be zero. Hey guys, so I'm back from Sydney now and the Great Barrier Reef. I didn't decide, I decided not to vlog a lot of the trip back. I figured this was already a long enough vlog. From that point on, it's just more me getting on a plane, off a plane, which is a long process. I've had an incredible trip, you know, almost two weeks in Australia. Truly unforgettable. I got to do so many cool things, uh, including the Great Barrier Reef, which is something that's been on my bucket list for such a long time. And it's not disappointing, it was truly magical. And the camera really cannot show how visceral and magical that whole world is beneath the surface. So if you ever have that opportunity to do something like that, I urge you to take it. That's just one of the many things that I'm able to do because of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, it's truly, truly incredible. Uh, and the trip was fun just beyond that as well. And I was super fortunate to walk away with the win. Um, obviously needed some luck to get there, you always do. And the fact that I was vlogging it just makes it even more sick. I hope you guys were able to get some of that energy um, and the rush that I felt through this vlog as well. In that respect, and with all the other uh, activities uh, we embarked on. Uh, shout outs to Glenn and Campo, who hosted myself and the foreigners in Australia. Very much appreciated. And then also shout outs to Vlad, who unfortunately could not make it, but he at least saved the day for me because as I destroyed my deck earlier in the vlog, I needed some of the cards to play with and he came through for me. So appreciate that very much. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope this was something you found enjoyable. Please let me know in the comments below 
uh, what she likes and what I could work on because this was my first vlog video in general and I know there's stuff I can improve on. My eloquence can be, for example, one. Even maintaining eye contact with the camera sometimes can be a problem for me. Or even just my my cameraman kind of skills in general. Obviously, you work. It's my first time. And even as the vlog progressed, I got better. But yeah, please like and subscribe if you want to see me continue down this content creation journey. It has been exciting, and I really hope there's a lot more to come.